on a certain sum of money compound interest earned at the end of 3 years is 1456 compound interest at the end of 2 years is rupees 880 compute the principal invested very important we know the formula for amount amount is p into 1 plus r by 100 whole power n on a compound interest basis right so compound interest at the end of 3 years is p into 1 plus r by 100 whole cube minus p compound interest at the end of 2 years is p into 1 plus r by 100 whole square minus p okay. this we know these two numbers we have been given from this we have to find rate of interest and principal we have to find the principal but you can already sense that you need to find the rate of interest to go to the principal okay. so i'm going to frame this as an equation and then solve it fine this r by 100 i'm going to call it as just r minus as r percentage if, if, if you're uncomfortable with that call that as an x and solve for x so that we don't have to continuously deal with r by 100 all the time and so i'm just going to call it r it is r percentage if, if you get finally the answer as 0.2 we'll call it as 20 percent so this is p into 1 plus r whole cube minus p is 1456 p into 3r square plus 3r plus r cube 1 plus r whole cube is r cube plus 3r square plus 3r plus 1 so p into 1 minus p gets cancelled p into 3r square plus 3r plus r cube that is what remains right? at the end of two years this will be p into 1 plus r whole square which is 1 plus 2r plus r square minus p or plus 1 and minus p get cancelled p into r square plus 2r is 880 now it looks like we have two variables and then squares cubes all of that but if you divide one by the other we notice straight away that p gets cancelled so we get an expression in r not only that an extra r also gets cancelled now think about this I'll write this down 3r square plus 3r plus r cube by r square plus 2r the numerator would have, would have had a p the denominator would have had a p this is equal to 1456 by 880 the p gets knocked off we can knock off a further r as well so r into 3r plus 3 plus r square by r into r plus 2 equals 1456 by 880 r is not zero so we knock this off then we cross multiply this get a quadratic and then simplify that right now i want to try to do this slightly differently we get this as 1456 by 880 right? we can simplify this 1456 this is 728 by 440 right? or i want to write this differently call it as 0 0.728 by 0.44 so, 1 plus r whole cube minus p becomes 0.728 1 plus r whole square minus p becomes 0.44 so if i not subtracted p the amounts i can vaguely if i can think of it as do, do these two numbers ring a bell 0 0.728 by 0 0.44 they must they must think about it what is 0 0.728 what is 0 0.44 what is 1.728 1.44 1.728 is nothing but 1.2 whole cube 1.44 is 1.2 whole square so this can be thought of as this ratio is nothing but 1.2 cube minus 1 by 1.2 square minus 1 if you can sense that then straight away rate of interest is 20 percent everything else you can simplify after that if you can sense pick just that then you know rate of interest is 20 percent 0.2 and then you're just writing down the answer right so I'm going to capture this digitally and then build from there. So if you can sense that rate of interest is 20%. So this, this is 728 by 1440 or 0.728 by 0.4 or 1.728 minus 1 by 1.44 minus 1. This is not easy. This is not formal like, but you should be looking for these numbers 1.69, 1.44, 1.21, 1.331. Point three three one, one point one square cube, two square two cube, all of those. Those are important numbers. If you can get that, then you're through. And having a feel for the numbers sometimes very useful. If you can get that, you're through. Rate of interest is twenty percent. Now compound interest at the end of two years is one point two square minus one times p. This is eight eighty. Point four four p is eight eighty. 
our principal is rupees 2000 this is the final bit actually finding the the value and so suppose we had not been able to pick that how would we have solved we would have solved it quadratic equation so r square plus 3r plus 3 into 440 is r plus 2 into 728 cancel off whatever will get knocked off straight away which is 8 knock off 8 expand this quadratic solve this quadratic this i'm sure you can do so i'm not going to go down elaborately solving this quadratic it is not that easy but it's doable and so we'll get the get r as 0.2 when you solve the quadratic but thinking of 1.2 square 1.2 cube that can just simplify life enormously so this question we are discussing precisely for that reason how will i build that ability to think numbers and algebra ultimately